as a choreographer, I've initiated this project and um, I've invited Mamoru Iriguchi, who is a multimedia artist, Sophia Klist, who's a sculptor, and um, Richard Court, who's a dancer and also a singer. The whole story of the piece at the moment, it's initiated by Richard and Mamoru follows initially to capture him, but then it sort of flips around very organically. Richard's task is kind of to keep falling and to keep flowing and Mamoru's task is to stop him um, and to kind of pin him against the wall. I think I'm kind of representing sort of really ordinary body, kind of aspiring to do something more interesting as like something that he does. He's not a dancer. So that was tricky at first because he was finding a way in as a non-movement person in a way. So there's always a little bit of, of humour in the in the work, you know, that you question, are they really doing that? <laughs> and they are really doing that. I think humour always helps generally not to take anything too serious. <laughs> I, mean, I was really interested in kind of finding the meeting point between movement and drawing. So we're feeding off one another all the time, and the more that you get to know somebody, the more you can find other ways to work. It always being something that remains spontaneous, so that it's endlessly surprising, because the choreography is, is fixed, the phrases are fixed, but they always come out differently. There's always something that shifts. You know, if you watched it and you kind of felt like, oh, I would really like to join in, or I would like to go home and make a drawing, or I'd quite like to roll along that wall, or, you know, draw an outline of a person. I think my sort of bigger aspiration would be to encourage the audience to be more creative themselves, maybe.